the Jehovah Witnesses, the cult of death, with its blood doctrines, shunning policies, and two witness rule, to name a few. It is determined, it is steadfast, it will not stop. It's like a deep, dark shadow and fog that you cannot find your way out of. They draw you in like a fish to the bait and hook you and then immediately go to work to program you into their theology, their theological abuse. They will have no mercy on the damage that they do to your mind. They are not part of the Christian system. They are regarded as a cult across the world. <clears throat> Banned in several countries. They were banned in Australia in 1941 for interfering with wartime efforts. They're a multi billion dollar business parading itself, chameleonizing itself behind the good news of the Holy Bible, and they have no good news. When Armageddon comes, they are going to mop up the bodies, except for the Jehovah Witnesses, who apparently are going to be the only ones who survive. There is no going to heaven for the Jehovah Witnesses, which is totally contrary to the whole crux of the New Testament. They blatantly lie to their followers programming them into a form of evil that is astonishing and builds on the spirit of cognitive dissonance, the mental illness of cognitive dissonance. They teach their followers to go against their conscience over and over and over again until they've lost touch with themselves and their rationale. <coughs> They get their congregationalists to build the kingdom halls and then sell them from underneath them. They take donations to peddle their propaganda and put people on in communities with their propaganda who don't even believe it themselves. Trying to climb a ladder, corporate ladder that doesn't exist, getting brownie points for Jehovah, whoever that is, we don't even know who that is yet, we're still trying to find that out, it's definitely not the Jehovah of the holy scriptures of the Jews. They entrain you psychologically so that you become addicted to the theology, the theological abuse, the false theology, the lies, the schemes. People will give their lives when they need blood. They'll let themselves die rather than have a blood transfusion under the false blood doctrine. People's mental health crashes and collapses from underneath them their health fails, they die alone because they get shunned <clears throat> if they don't comply to the rules and regulations and laws and policies of the institution of the Jehovah Witnesses.
They scheme, they cheat, they lie. The whole premise of the religion is built on a lie. Michael is not the Jewish Messiah. Michael the Archangel is not the Jewish Messiah, which causes all substructures and theological beliefs of the organization to crumble to nothing. People are waking up all over the world and wanting answers and they won't get any from the Jehovah Witnesses because they don't have any. They're all deluded and deceived on a daily basis. Sharing in the derision and the di division and diversions away from truth, biblical truth. The abused, in this case, does become the abuser because they peddle their theological lies and the child molestation throughout the organization is unsurpassed as far as we know with elders, ministerial servants and pioneers being prosecuted all across the country for child molestation. The poor children in these organizations are subject to terrible, horrible abuse. Pedophiles use the organization as a way of access to the children. Often the parents are the pedophiles. There's no accountability, no responsibility taken in regard to this. The authorities are not called. If you know of anybody that is in this situation, do ring the authorities immediately. <coughs> Report these people to the authorities immediately and save these children. They've had to fire one of their governing body members for being caught in, an, in a grog shop when he should have been peddling the propaganda. He was buying liquor. The whole premise of the theological structure of their teachings is demonized, to say the least. They're deliberately misleading people with a spirit of gladness and joy, like it's some kind of a joke. They're like the band that was playing on the Titanic up until it sunk, They'll keep peddling their theological abuse until it's all too late. Millions of people have died as a Jehovah Witness thinking it was honorable and it was absolutely demoralizing, horrible way to die. They use funerals as a way to evangelize, to get more people into their sinister organization. grandiosizing in their narcissism each other but not realizing they're digging a pit so deep many of them will never ever find their way out of it ever they have terrible mental problems their mental health deteriorates they've got no value for the harm they cause it's woeful People all over the world are waking up to this organization and getting therapy from cold abuse. The numbers in the organization are deteriorating at an alarming rate. They don't have the answers to turn it around because their lives, lies are evident now. Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. Bye for now.